speaking of things that are stupid, we have some more how these NFL teams got their names. The NFC West. Boom. We'll start with it, they're all kind of awful, to be honest with you. Yeah, I'm just, I just I, I feel like we should have saved your division for last because I feel like the Bengals thing is like the coolest thing. Like so far, oh boy, was just like hey, cool stove. I Tennessee, like that. I like Tennessee's. I think that's pretty. Tennessee's cool. is cool. Yeah, yeah. So it's not that these are they're bad. Like it, we'll start with the 49ers. Yeah, that's after the miners, the gold miners, the 49ers, because yeah. they came over in the 49s. Like eighteen forty, like forty nine or nineteen <laughs> seven seventeen forty nine. There's, there's, there's only one forty. <laughs> they came over in the forty nines. How many forty nine? Half of them came over in seventeen forty nine. Then they waited a hundred years. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> one of the partners suggested the team be named the Forty ers after the Voyagers who had rushed the West for gold. It's the only name the team has ever been affiliated with, and San Francisco is the only city which it has ever resided. Ooh. <laughs> uh, honestly, that's pretty rare, though. It is, yeah. Any idea how the Cardinals got their name? I feel like they moved from somewhere, I would assume. They're from a different location, and that location probably had a bunch of Cardinals in the area. I don't know. State Bird or something like that. Yes. You're about halfway there. Okay. The origin of the Cardinals' name came from founder Chris O'Brien when he received a shipment of faded maroon jerseys that he called Cardinal Red. In 1944, the Cardinals and the Pittsburgh Steelers combined to form Card Pit during the last full year of World War II. That original name they got there. <laughs> in 1950, they moved to St. Louis, and it wasn't until 1999 that they settled in Phoenix, Arizona, and okay. became the Arizona Cardinals. Their chirpy Cardinal Bird logo, now represented by the mascot Big Red, was added in 1947 while the team was still up north, where Cardinals are more common, though you can spot them in Arizona. Hmm. So, Yeah, I was close. Yeah. yeah. It was because of the jerseys they received, but it was probably like, hey, that works, because it's close. there were Cardinals up there. Yeah. yeah. All right, next we have the Rams. Any guesses? Hmm... Um, they uh, they're the Rams because uh, that LA is a rambunctious city, and Ram is short for rambunctious, and that's where the team started. Okay, next team because that's correct. Go ahead. Correct. All right. How about the Seahawks? <laughs> <laughs> the Rams started in Cleveland in 1936. They moved to Los Angeles from 1946 to 1994, then moved to St. Louis in '95 and became the St. Louis Rams. It wasn't until 2016 that they relocated back to California as the Los Angeles Rams. The Rams got their nickname as a result of their general manager, Damon Wetzel, having a favorite football team, the Fordham Rams, from Fordham University. Hmm. Where's Fordham? Cleveland, I would assume? Or Ohio? Uh, that's a good question. Let's find out. You're probably on it. I got so many windows and shit here. I don't. Fordham is in the Bronx. Mm. Hmm. How about that? Well, don't dodge it, ram it. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. How about the Seahawks? What do you got? Uh, I mean, it's either like Washington's like state bird, or they have a lot of ospreys in Seattle because Seahawk like isn't an actual bird. It's like a subcategory for a couple birds that. Hunt in the sea. The franchise held a name the team contest with over 20,000 entries. Damn. Seahawks was suggested by over 100 entrants with the franchise deciding these fierce predatory seabirds that symbolize aggressiveness were a perfect fit for the team. And Seahawks sounds a lot better than seabirds. Well, you know. I hate these like name the team <laughs> ones. It's like cool. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like like something like the the Steelers, like you know, they did it because that's where their fan base worked in the thirties and yeah, like, the other one Edgar Allan like, Poe wrote The Raven and uh -huh. you know, this dude in like nineteen twelve saw his mom's stove and liked the emblem. It's like no, uh we moved and we asked everybody there to vote and this is we what took we got. The most popular one and we took it. Yeah. Like, and I, I and you also only know the Osprey thing just because our high school mascot was a Seahawk. But Technically, is an osprey. 
Fun fact. Super fun. Yeah. <laughs> thankfully, um, not a real bird. Seahawk. Yes. Well, not thankfully that, but mm-hmm. you're correct. And thankfully, what we're moving into is a lot better than that. 